today I want us to look at the first rabbit disease that I experienced in my farm as a beginner and the challenges that I went through um, with this disease and finally how I got it um, treated. I've learned so many experiences about this um, disease and not only that one with other related um, rapid diseases as well. <clears throat> so uh, I deem it important to share it with you so that in case it happens in your farm, you will also know how to go about it. In fact, first it started with only one rabbit and then uh, because I didn't know, I crossed it and then uh, it littered well. It just started with uh, some ear side of one of uh, my rabbits and then it was a New Zealand white though. So I didn't know that it was a disease. So I still cross it. It littered well, but after it littered, it started to grow lean. And then before I know, the same thing was also happening to um, other rabbits in my farm was happening to it will just start with their nose and then uh, with the nose and later spread to the ears and then uh, their foot as well so uh, i was wondering what is happening then i capture a picture and sent to a colleague farmer who um told me that was uh, a disease he took his time to educate me on the causes, the prevention, and how to get the, this particular disease treated. So what is this particular disease? We will get to know what exactly it is and then how far it can go in your farm. And then um, at the end of it, how you can get it treated. All right. So let's look at it. What is this uh, disease? and what causes that particular disease and the treatment. How do we actually go about it? How do we treat it? It was ear mites or um, nose rock or foot hawks, okay? Depending on where it happens. And this disease, it always um, normally, it happens on the ears of the rabbits you will see that the ears, um, the hairs of the ears uh, will be eaten up and then there will be um, something like sore on the ears or even a, a hard kind of skin, white skin on the ears, on the part of the ears. So um, when you see that place, it's a disease or even on the nose, you will see that the hairs of the nose will be wet off and then there will be a kind of um, sore, a hard sore uh, building up on the nose. And if it is the, the foot, you will see that the foot will also be chopped off and then you will see that um, the feet, the hair will wear off. So viewers, anytime you see something like this, it is an indication of this particular disease and that is ear mites and if it happens on the nose we call it ear uh, yeah nose rock um so viewers without wasting much time now let's see how we can treat um ear mites uh foot hawks or better still nose rock in our rabbit farm there are a whole lot of drugs out there but Iva, ivermectin um, stands out to be um, the ideal choice among most rabbit farmers um, simply because it heals faster um, due to its high potency so uh, before that take note that Iva is um, is used through injection so no wonder it comes with a strange in the package so um colleague farmers let's see how we can um, do the injection 
so you get your syringe uh, the five milliliter size I mean the small one so you will be able to inject your rabbits by the end of this video so um, viewers this is how to inject a rabbit um, one thing that we need to take notice is um, with the, the syringe that you are using so this one that's the five milliliter uh, syringe that's a small size so what we need to do is um, as you can see on the on the drag uh, uh, on the drag the ivor ivor is pe uh, purposely for you can see that you can also use it for uh, <coughs> cattle sheep goats and the rest but here we are using it for um, rabbits. So what do we do? What do we do? When you are pulling it, when you want to use it for a rabbit, please pull it up to the maximum should end on the one per rabbit. So what I have used and is comfortable in my farm, what I have used and is safe in my farm, I normally pull, um, yeah, I pull, so, um, if it is for rabbit, this is what you do. You don't need to pull full of this. When you pull up to the five and you use it on your rabbit, that is overdosage. All right? That is overdosage. So, what we need to do is um, pull it half of the one half of the one so when you pull one you should you should be able to use it on two rabbits but with one just pull half of it half of the one so that will be 0 0.5 milliliters per rabbit 0 0.5 milliliters per rabbit so let me show you how we do it so this is your drag when you are pulling Put it inside but before you do that you need to shake it shake the drag very well so yes yeah, so after shaking it you then use this one so So look at the calibration. Look at the calibration. Yeah. So as you can see, this is almost one. I hope you can see that that's almost one so what we actually need to do is uh make half of it so push it back push it back yes so this is half half of the so as you can see it's on the half half of the one milliliter so then you close it good so um we have other um drugs here this is a uh, much vitamin and then uh, coxie so i've been using them on my farm so this is what we do so now that you have pulled it up to that you gently Keep it and then you pick your rabbit, place it in a nice place, then you do the injection, all right? Yes. So I put it here. Then I now go for the particular rabbit that I want to inject. Okay. So viewers, this is the particular rabbit that uh, 
we want to do the injection. So when you place the rabbit sliders, you then take your syringe. Then, um, before that, let me show you one thing. Anywhere under the skin, okay? You know rabbits because of their hair. Yes, so you lift the skin this way, anywhere under the skin, then you dress it into the the skin. Then that's how you inject. So it, it could be anywhere here at the back. It could be anywhere here. But preferably, we normally do it here, behind the, the neck. We just raise the skin and dress it inside it. So let's let's go. So that you see how we do it. So this way. So you raise the skin. You raise the skin. This way. Okay. Hope you are watching. Then. So you raise the skin. <coughs> this way. Then. You dress it just under the skin. Hope you can see. Under the skin, you see? Yes, it has entered under the skin. Yes. Yes, you can see. Yes, it's under the skin. Then you now push it inside. So, you push it inside. Yeah, so you are done. After that, then you use your hands. Yes, so when it's done, this is normal. So, um, viewers, that is the injection that we are able to do. Once the injection is done, that's it. And um, let me also remind you that with the IVA, the injection is supposed to be one-time injection, all right? It's supposed to be one-time injection. You don't need to do it twice. So um, with this way, within one week, two weeks, you will see that all the the signs on the, the, the wounds, on the ears, on the nose, and then on the foot, all right? Within one week, you see that they will be start to, um, it will start to wear off, it will start to wear off, and then they will all clean, and the fur will grow up again to cover all those um, places. So, viewers, this is how it is supposed to be done. However, if it is your first time of doing it, viewers, I will encourage you to get guidance. Okay, you can get an experienced farmer um, to do it for you to see for the first time then from there you can now um do it on your own all right and then you can also seek for a vet advice on how um to go about the injection especially um for those who are on, on large scale farming all right you don't need to do this yourself but then if you are having one or two rabbits like some of us then it's good you learn some of these things and then you can try them on your own. And um, livestock keeping actually has to do with knowledge, okay? Attend classes on how to do medication. There are a lot of classes out there, a lot of training out there that I think you can involve yourself and it will help you a lot, okay? Learn on everything that has to do with rabbit farming especially uh, medication so it is good if you can manage it yourself that's good but always seek for guidance and then try to consult your vet especially when it comes to um, medication on your rabbits or your livestock it is very important viewers thank you for watching this video and i hope this video is very beneficial to you so why don't you like the video, comment if you have any issue, and then 
subscribe and don't forget to share it with your friends out there god bless you for watching and see you again